From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh! Bop. So, what's up, YouTube? This is D. And I bet the first thing you're going to notice and I'm going to see in the comments is, D, what the hell is that banging? Well, if you live in New York, Brooklyn especially, one of my neighbors saw how I had my basement all hooked up and it decided to have somebody work on his basement. But unfortunately, he's taking a effing hundred years to do it. So bear with me and try to ignore that noise, even though it's driving me absolutely nuts. So anyway. Getting to the topic of this video, I'm here with the Frag Tank, and it is week number six, I want to say. Yeah, that's right. Week number six. Everything is bouncing back. Thank the maker. I was going absolutely out of my mind with the recuperation process after that near crash when all my levels went kaplooey. So as you can see, everything is doing okay. And I'll really, I'll really tell you that uh, I really base the level in which things are improving is things like Zinnia. Because Zinnia can be really finicky. They really spread fast. But when you have a problem with Zinnia, they absolutely close. It's really, really obvious when you have a problem. When Zinnia start closing. Or uh, let's take a look at these. These Zoas. Now, these Zoas are doing really well. Everything is bouncing back. And I want to give a shout out to my people at my aquarium box. Mike from Mass, my brother from another mother, would put me onto the reef roids. You know how I am, Mike. I'm old school. I don't like using a lot of stuff. But the reef roids have definitely opened these guys up. I mean, uh, take a look at this candy cane. It's getting ready to sprout another head. And uh, I got to kick it up to the reef roids. So I don't always... Uh, jump on the bandwagon and i you know every other month there's a new product as far as uh the best thing since sliced bread with reefs and coral and fish tanks they always swear that this is the cure-all or fix-all but uh the reefroids are the jam man reefroids are the jam and uh gotta kick it up to my aquarium box man sometimes it takes getting something new that you wouldn't normally get and trying it out to see if it works and sometimes things just work so if you guys are familiar with my aquarium box check them out man i'll put a link down below or you could check them out at the myaquariumbox.com but the, i'll put a link down below so uh yeah to give you a recoup the people that may or may not have seen my prior videos i had a near crash and you know it's really rare i really don't have problems because i really don't change things in the tank too often but uh i switched some salts to a salt that the in the defense uh a homeboy gave me, a good friend of mine gave me, and I had it sitting, and it was probably sitting in his yard for a while. It was sitting in my yard for a while. And when I ran out of the Reef Pro, I went to that different salt, and it was really old. I mean, the tank, everything closed up. Like that night, I literally looked at the tank, and everything was closed up. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? So I tested the tank. My alkalinity was like one. <laughs> I was like, well, why, how the hell does the alkalinity drop from like six or seven to, to one? I think it was like seven or something to one. But, you know, it's probably old. There's no fault of anybody. We just don't know. So, you know, sometimes you don't know how long things are sitting or even in the store, you don't know how long things are stored. And which is why it's not really good to do major, major size water changes unless you've been using the same batch of materials that you're using. But long story short, it took me a couple of weeks. This happened around the week of Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, I just started major water changes. I did, uh, I'd did. i say the algae in here was so thick, it was like I couldn't sleep at night. <laughs> you know, and uh, I probably did two 50% water changes over the course of about four days, I think it was. Maybe four or five days. I did a 50 and then I did another 50 just to try to get that salt, you know, swapped up. I went to the store, bought a new batch of salt, did the right thing, got it back. And everything is coming back. So, man, I'm just so happy. So, patience is key. A lot of people were leaving comments below. I didn't want to seem like a prick. <laughs> they were like, oh, try this, you know, or this algae plus or, you know, 
this booster and this and that to get rid of algae algae is a part of nature and it's always a sign that something is off in the tank so the fact that you try to run out and throw something at it to just get rid of it doesn't really address the problem so the tank is coming back and uh oh let me give you a shot of these akins now all my loyal tubers will know that these bad boys here were green if you look at a video i did last year probably around august or so these boys were green and when this tank went down back in november they were like look like a rock it looked like a rock i was like really upset i was so upset i almost wanted to take everything in the tank out and scrub it and everything but man i had to bite my tongue and keep my hands in my pockets and they came back and they're not green they're almost i don't want to fiddle with the lights because i'm keeping that uh that blue thing going on but the camera doesn't do them justice they're like a rose color with a white in the center and they're really pretty and these are really gold they're a gold white and yellow so uh patience is a virtue it's really awesome let's uh take a look at the piece i got uh at last week's aquarium meeting if i remember where i put them oh there they are right in front of me one of the good friends the aquarium meeting we bought well actually he beat me out in an auction <laughs> he beat me out in the auction you know who you are i'm not gonna say we always bid against each other in the club auctions and he was like, hey, Dave, I got one of these and there's a couple of branches. So he gave me a couple of branches of the candy cane from his uh, winning bid in the auction. And it was really, it was really cool. And he also gave me these Zoas. So if he's watching, he'll see that mine are opening up pretty nicely. They're really pretty. The light doesn't do them justice because I'm running on heavy attenics here to keep the algae down while we go through that recouping period. But they're almost blue in the center. They're really cool. I attached them to this cut piece of ceramic tile. Because I didn't know where I was going to put it. And I like the ceramic tile because I can sit it anywhere on a flat surface on the egg crate. Without them growing into the egg crate like those. Oh man, they're a pain in the neck. And uh, things are looking good. There's a piece of the Pavona that I fragged last month when i thought the tank was kicking off the pavona actually did well but the torch as you can see this empty shell used to be my torch that did not do well it kicked the bucket frog spawn is humongous if you look at the camera and it fills the whole screen that's because it grew exponentially but the torch played taps uh the pavona actually look at that piece where it used to be years ago it started growing and encrusting on the rock where i had it probably eight nine months ago just started growing during that uh that almost crash period so with the nutrients and everything went sky high the pavona started growing like crazy i mean let me zoom out a little bit look how big that is you can't even see the rock and everything's looking cool so uh of course, Kenya, probably my fastest growing and most popular in the tank, is like nuts. And I'll actually attribute to, when I did that water change, I actually did remove Kenya. I cut them. So be forewarned, if you ever cut any uh, coral or anything in the tank, that can contribute to really toxic uh, levels in your tank. And some corals are really, really toxic. So to defend themselves, they will poison things. Um, chalice, I got from my buddy Gon at the Thousand Island Aquarium. Beautiful piece. Thank you, Gon. If you don't know Thousand Island Aquarium, check him out. He really, really expanded his coral frag section, so check him out. And I think I will cut things short with that and saying that the tank is coming back. Things are looking good. The only fail that I had, I did have a fail. I tried to attach a few of these uh, Zoas to like my overflow area, the wall. And they did nothing but grow algae on them. You can see the glue spot where I had the crazy glued on there. 
they actually were releasing themselves from that and it looked like I just had a ball of algae on the wall. <laughs> so I took that off and put it on a frag plug until I decide what to do with it. Everything is extending, polyps extending, everything's looking good. And thanks to Reefroids. Reefroids, my tank is definitely loving Reefroids. I've started feeding them uh, to the corals in the main tank upstairs. And I'm going to cut it short with that. So people hit that subscribe button. If you want further updates, hit the bell. Click that bell on, a, on the right side where it says subscribe so that you'll get notifications when I do new videos. Until next time, this is D signing out. Hey, wait a minute. It's quiet. I guess he finished building the hot tub or whatever the hell he's building. Good. I'm going to try to catch a nap while the getting's good. All right, everybody. Tank on. See ya. I'm out.